The overall goal of this procedure is to construct nanoscale enclosures for measuring the properties of fluids. This is accomplished by first rinsing chemically cleaned, patterned wafers thoroughly with deionized water to remove any particle contaminants that will hinder proper bonding. The wafers are spun slowly during this rinsing process. In the second step, a cover is placed over the wafers and the assembly is spun to remove any residual dust. This is performed under an infrared lamp to dry the water, as bonding cannot occur if there is any trapped water. After the spacers between the wafers are removed, the wafers are taken off the spinner in their carrier and placed in an arbor press where bonding is initiated symmetrically from the center. The bonded wafers are then placed on a quartz vacuum chuck and the air trapped in the microstructure formed between the bonded wafers is evacuated before the wafers are annealed in a furnace to make the bonding permanent. Ultimately, well-defined cavities between two silicon wafers are obtained. These cavities can then be used for confining fluids in experiments. This method of using a bond of wafers with uh, well-defined separation and geometry allows us to study um, the behavior of liquids which are confined and hence are not in a thermodynamic limit. Generally, individuals who are new to this process will struggle because the bonding process is very sensitive to contaminants such as residual resist or dust in the staging process. I had uh, this idea uh, for bonded wafers when I spent a sabbatical leave at uh, Bell Laboratories in 1987. And uh, since then, our work has been uh, supported by the National Science Foundation. To begin, prepare the wafer in the clean room as described in the text protocol. 